this video I'm going to show you how to test to see if a solenoid is good or not just right here at the controller. Let me show you something. I've got a few valves not coming on for this controller and this is just a Hunter ICC. It's an older controller but it still works great. But one thing you can do to see if the solenoid is bad or you've got a cut in the wire is you can test these wires right here in the back. And I've got this jumbled up mess here. I, I'm going to end up having to clean all this up. We just took over the maintenance of this property. So I'm going to clean all this up and make it look good. But I wanted to show you this. I've got this uh, Armada tech tool here. And this is how I can use this tool right here to test my solenoid. Now I took the black lead. I came over here and I clamped it to the common. And sometimes I hold them and I just do both. But since I've got to hold the camera, I'm going to show you this way. Well, this has got a little toggle switch up here. And I'm going to click it to solenoid. And so right now, it's showing open. And that's because... I've just got this, uh, I've got my red lead here. So I'm gonna go, number one is not coming on. So I'm gonna just touch that lead to number one and it's showing open. See now I'll show you, now if I go to two and I touch it, see how it says good? Three, good. When I come off it shows open, but when I touch number one, yep, it's showing open. So that's telling me I've got a wire problem or the solenoid is bad. And so that lets me know, yeah, I've got a problem. So I'll go to the solenoid and I'll test it. And if the solenoid is good, then that lets me know I've got a wire problem. Now, another way you can test your solenoids and your wires from right here at the controller is you can use a voltmeter like this one. And what you do is what's called ohming out. And so this little symbol right here on this voltmeter, that's ohms. So I'll click this all the way around to ohms. And then, so I'm gonna hold my black to my common and then I'm gonna hold my red just touch the terminal and if I go to two three all of these are showing good but when I hit this number one it comes up with nothing now each solenoid has a certain resistance in the solenoid with the coils of the wire. And so when you use ohms, it's gonna tell you kind of what that resistance is. Now every manufacturer and every solenoid has a different type of resistance and so it'll come up with a different number. But if you get a good solid number, like some of those were showing 35, and so that's telling me that, hey, I came up with a good resistance, it came up with a good solid number, that means that solenoid is good. But now if it gives you 1 million or, so, or doesn't show up anything, that lets you know, yeah, you've either got a wire issue or a solenoid issue. And so you can start here at the controller, and now I know, yes, there's some sort of problem with some certain valves. Now what we'll do is we'll go out into the field and we'll start testing solenoids. And if solenoids are good, then we'll start tracing wires or finding breaks in wires and things like that. And man, let me tell you, it could come in, it could get into a big job really fast. And we'll show you that stuff in another video. But this video, I wanted to just show you how you can test your wires and test your solenoids right here at the controller. Kelly Staggs here, American Irrigator, trying to make you a better irrigator. From a licensed irrigator to a licensed irrigator and homeowners alike. Consider subscribing and hitting that bell. That way you don't miss any tips.